Hi everyone and welcome. I'm Ruz Beshad. This is the ninth part of the series on how to develop a software application. Well, I was supposed to develop our grid component by adding features to it, but let's do it at a later time and for now, focus on how to make our components publicly available to other applications. So, in this video, first I'll show you how to organize our reusable Razor components by creating a Razor class library and moving them to it. Next, I'll explain how to separate c -sharp code from the markup in the Razor components by creating partial classes. Then, I'll show you how to use the RCL project in the Northwind.web project. And finally, I'll show you how to create and display a graphical UI loading when a long process such as loading categories from the REST API is running. Are you ready? Let's get started. As you remember, in the previous tutorial, we created our reusable grid and column components to display a list of data of any types, like categories. In this video, we'll organize these components by adding a separate project for them. This way, we can use our components from other Blazor or even Razor Pages applications. So, let's create a new project by right-clicking on the Northwind solution and selecting the Add New Project option. On the Add a New Project dialog box, Select the Razor class library from the project template list and click on the next button. On the configure your new project screen, name your project northwind.ui.components and go to the next page. On the additional information page, select .NET 6 from the framework list and leave the support pages and views checkbox unchecked. Click on the create button to create the project and add it to the solution. Now let's have a quick look at this project and its content. Expand the www root folder. This folder usually contains the static assets of a project such as JavaScript files, style sheets, images, and so on. Here is an image file used as the background image for component 1. The other file in this folder is a JavaScript module containing a sample JavaScript function that can be exported to and used by the .NET modules. The next item is the import Razor file exactly the same as its counterpart in a Blazor application. The component.razor file is a sample component with a CSS file underneath which is used to style it. We don't need this file and the image file either, so we can safely delete them from the project. Finally, we have a C-sharp class named example.js interop which shows us how to call a JavaScript function in .NET. In our example, the JavaScript function is show prompt defined in the example.js interop.js file which can be called by the prompt method in the example.js interop C-sharp class. Invoking JavaScript functions from .NET methods and .NET methods from JavaScript functions is called JavaScript interoperability. Now, let's move the column and grid components from the Northwind.web project to this RCL project. That's so easy. First, select both components. Second, cut them from the Northwind.web project. And finally, right-click on the RCL project and paste them into it. 
The next thing that I want to do with the reusable components is to separate the code from the markup because otherwise by adding new features like sorting our components will get bigger and more complicated over the time making them harder to maintain. Separating code from the markup results in much cleaner structure. It also allows the HTML part to be edited independently of the code. The code and markup separation enable graphic designers and developers to work on the same resource at the same time. The code is more readable and easy to maintain. So let's start with the column component. First copy the file name including its extension. Now right click on the RCL project and select the add class option. In the name text box, paste the component name and don't forget to add a CS extension to the end of it. Finally, click on the Add button to add it to the project and close the dialog box. You see the new class is added to the column component underneath. Next, change the internal modifier to public. because it's going to be used by other assemblies. Then add the partial modifier to the class definition. Because the component is generic, you need to make the class generic too. So add the parameter type T item in front of the class. Now move all stuff from the code section in the column.razor file to this class. Finally, you can remove the code directive from the razor file because we don't need it anymore. Repeat the same procedure for the grid component. Our RCL library is now ready. Let's see how to consume it in our Blazor application. We first need to add a reference to it in the northwind.web project. Then we need to add the RCL namespace to the underscore import.razor file in the project. So, It's time to test our changes, so press the F5 key to run the application. It works fine and shows us we have set up our RCL correctly. All right, before saying goodbye, I want to make one final improvement to our application. Let's display the list of categories one more time. Well, it's loading pretty fast, but sometimes there are situations in which it takes time to load data, depending on different factors like the connection speed, how big data is, and so on. 
that simulates such a situation by putting a simple statement in our code. If you run the application again, and click on the Categories option on the navigation left side, you'll see it shows this ugly static text while it's loading categories. I want to replace it with something more attractive, like a spinner. This is not a hard job. Let's Google Bootstrap Spinners. If you click on the link, you will be redirected to the spinners page and find a lot of examples with different effects. Let's copy this snippet and then create a new component named, for example, UI loading in the RCL project. Replace its markup with the code snippet that you just copied. You can make it more flexible by adding a parameter to it to show a loading message. So let's add a new parameter named loading text. Now, we can use our UI loading component like other components. Go back to the grid component and replace this part with Let's run the application one more time to see it in action. Well, it's much better than before, but with a little change, we can even make it look better. So let's add some more styles to it. Now, go to the www root folder and open the index.html file. This is the page that is shown when the Blazor application starts. I'd also like to replace this loading message with our UI loading component, something like this. Unfortunately, we cannot load a Razor component in index.html because Blazor is still not ready at this stage. 
We could fix this by using a number of solutions like pre-render and integrate razor components. But I'd rather not use them because they make the application unnecessarily complicated. Although I don't like repeating the code, I'll put the same snippet here in place of the loading message. By the way, while we are here, let's put this style sheet before this one, which is the CSS bundle and rewritten at the build time. Run the app for the last time. That's perfect. That's all for now. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions regarding the content of the videos, I'd be happy to discuss them with you in the comment sections. If you like this video, please do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the following video.